Okay, so we've been focusing on k factor. So today, let's take a look at an object that we're going to reduce, in which we're going to focus on the volume of it. So if I have a 3 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter cube, okay, what is the volume of that cube? 27 meters cubed, correct? All right, let's reduce it. I'm going to reduce it by a k of one-third, okay? So by reducing it by a k of one-third, what is going to happen to my volume? So I'm going to take a third away from each of those, which changes this to a meter by a meter by a meter, right? So what is the volume of this cube then? One, one, meter, cube. one meter cube. So my volume then was reduced by a factor of what? A third? A 27. A 27. Right? It is that one third value cubed. Okay? So we've done this with, we did this with area last day, in which we just did the, say, the front of it. Okay, so 3 by 3 would give me 9 meters squared, right? And then this volume here would have been again, or this, sorry, this area. Oh, there. You need some help. There we go. Get it right, yeah. So that area then would have been one meter squared. So the k squared factor was by one nine, or k squared. Okay. So we don't have anything else to really worry about here. All you're doing now is you're just taking the volume and you're reducing it by the k factor, the scale factor, and then you cube it to find out what the new volume is. So you're working basically on the linear part of it, just the one dimensional part, so three to one. So you reduce from three to one by multiplying by a factor of a third. To get the area, it's whatever one third is squared, which was a ninth. And then to get the volume reduction, it's 1 over 27. Okay? So it's not very difficult. It's not any different than what we were doing in 8.5 with areas. The only change is that instead of it being a k squared, it's a k cubed. So if you want to find out what the scale factor is, so let's say I have reduced by my volume, I reduced by a thousandth, okay, to find out what the scale factor is for each linear part, each one dimensional part, or one, each piece of it, it would be the cube root of a thousand, which would be one tenth, okay? That's all there is to it, all right? Take a look at page 242. A Victorian train called Vicky was brought from England to Canada to star in the play of the Railway Children. The engine was built in the 1890s and is about 16.5 meters long. Toy replicas of Vicky were sold at the play. If the replicas fit into boxes about 16 by 2.6 by 4 centimeters high, determine the surface area of a shipping container holding um, that could hold Vicky. All right. So now, the first thing we want to do in this question is we've got the length of it, right? So we want to find out what the k factor is. Okay. So it was 16 and a half meters long, and we have to reduce it to 16.5 centimeters. So we need to match the units up. So 16.5 centimeters is our diagram or our, our model or box size, right? The actual size was 16.5 meters, which is 1,650 centimeters, right? 
So then, what is the reduction for this guy? 1 over 100. Okay? So now that we have that, okay, it says determine the surface area of the box. So let's find out what the surface area of the box is. So the surface area, how do I find the surface area of a box? For me? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Alright, I'm going to go length, width, height. Okay, so what's the area of this front face? Length times height. Length times height. And how many of those do I have? Two. I have one here and one on the back side, right? So it's two, length times height, plus. What about this guy? Height and width. Height and width. So width times height, plus two times the bottom and the top. Length and the width. And that's how I get the surface area, right? So then. Two times. Okay. What's the length of the box? 16.5. <laughs> What's the height of the box? Four. Four. Plus two times the width of the box? 2.6. Height again is four, right? Plus two times 16.5 times 2.6. So we get a surface area of... 28.31.4. Centimeter squared. Okay? So if the K factor then, if the K factor is 1 100, the box is 1 100 the size of the actual uh, train, right? Then this, I'm going to have to figure out what the K factor is, the K squared factor, to find out the actual size of it. All right, so then what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find out what my k squared is. So what is my k squared? If k is 1 over 100, what is k squared? 1 over 1,000. And how are you getting that? Squaring one. Right, so 1 over 100 squared, which actually is 1 over 10,000, right? Okay, so that's how I get my k squared factor. So now that I know that it's got to be, it has to be, it's uh, been reduced to 1 10,000, the surface area, I multiply that by, um, what is it here, sorry. I take this, 28, 30.4, and I'm going to times it by 10,000, okay? And that's going to give me the surface area of the actual train in centimeters squared. So what is that? Works out to 28,314,000 centimeters squared, or 2831.4 meters squared. Okay? So, and that's using the surface area. Okay? That's all that 8.6 is, and that takes us to the end of the, the end of the section. How many of us are finished through to 8.5? How many of us are working on 8.5 right now? Who's not done 8.4? Yeah. <laughs> you? Job. No. Not yet. Okay. Everybody else is done 8.4? All right. That's fine. Are there any questions from 8.4 or 8.5?
Okay, so what we're looking at is to finish this up by about 10.30.